Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to do a CRT effect slash TV effect on Premiere Pro. This tutorial should be really brief, so yeah, here's an example of what I'm about to show you. Ralph, St. Flair. Okay, so uh, shout out John, because John here is our subject. So here we first added was this grid right here to walk you down i added i switched this i think it starts off with corner point i switched this to width and height sliders change this to 4000 and the height i usually mess with depending on what i'm feeling i never remember like what specific um uh height i usually put but yeah just messing with it until you like it and i had to slide the anchor i believe yeah i had to slide the anchor because there's usually a line in the middle so slide the anchor uh, to the left or to the right, whatever. And blending modes, I added overlay. I was messing around with other ones. There's stencil, which is a bit harsher, yeah. But overlay, I like the most, I believe. And then I changed this into a lens distortion effect. And obviously you see the white background, but I will show you in a second how to um, not have that. So I believe that CRT effects aren't the sharpest of looks and so i usually add a blur because i usually i i think a blur matters wow this is pretty harsh okay this is good uh i usually add a blur yeah so i added another grid here because i believed it needed another grid just to give it more of the vintage until it loads when it's gonna, yeah so here's the other grid so i added another adjustment layer to add another grid to give it a green feel it's really just feeling it out. There's no trick to actually doing a, a perfect CRT effect. I mean, there probably is, but like when it comes to Premiere, you can't find like a perfect way of doing it. Yeah, this is my way of doing it. Just messing around with these specific um, effects really is all to it. Oh wait, I don't know if the green one loaded. So I added the green grid as well. And now this is where we nest the main clip just a clip in general of John and then we'll size it up to take away to take away um, to take away the white background and this is where I like to like try stuff not everything you will put down will work so I got this TV distortion off of YouTube and YouTube is a really good source when it comes to overlays Yeah, it's, uh, it's... or turn the saturation down, if anything. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, there's there's ways you can do it, other ways you can do it, and I'm sure there's probably better tutorials out there. But as far as the way that I like it, I kind of do it this way majority of the time and I like this overlay that I added because it gives it that curvature at TV look and so yeah shout out to John shout out to you guys for watching this video